You're watching continuing coverage of World Healthcare Congress 2012. Thanks for joining us. I'm very pleased to welcome Professor Ra Ramesh, Ramesh Reskar, yes. correct, of the MIT Media Lab. And he's here to show us a, a new device that he's developed that is going to change a lot of lives. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Well, show me how this iNetro works that you've developed. Um, sure. And this, could, this device is very portable. And what is it exactly? So, uh, Anetra is basically a snap-on eyepiece that goes on top of a smartphone. Uh, you snap on it, you would look through it, and there'll be some patterns shown on the screen. You would use the keyboard of the, of the mobile phone to align the patterns, and when they're aligned, you hit calculate, and it gives you data for prescription of your eyeglasses for your nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. And we also have similar such snap-ons to measure your cataract. Uh, is the goal to just, we usually we use very clunky large machines to do this at, at an optometrist's uh, office or something like that, but, but y this, mo this device is so mobile you can take it anywhere in the world and have this, uh, a test done, a diagnostic test done, is that correct? Absolutely, I mean, uh, a mobile phone is not just for communication, it can still make a phone call or for computing, but it's also becoming a scientific instrument. And what we are able to do is really exploit the fact that many features of mobile phones are now comparable to highest end scientific and medical instruments. And in this case, we're exploiting the fact that the resolution of the screen is extremely high, so we can perform tasks that have an accuracy that's comparable to big instruments. So now that you've compiled some data from put using this device, what is that data used for? I mean, clearly the data should be used for eventually delivering eyeglasses through some human in the loop. Uh, but the idea here, and we have spun out a venture called iNetra.com, and iNetra.com will go in emerging countries where you know we have about one optometrist for 100,000 people. Right. Uh, and there are millions out there who are suffering. Uh, they, children don't get education. That leads to, um, that leads to illiteracy. And, and adults don't, uh, cannot do their job, that leads to unemployment and poverty. So it's actually a huge socioeconomic problem of how do you provide something as simple as eyeglasses. So the goal for inetra.com is to really go to these places and create a new ecosystem so that people can get glasses even if they're not in major centers. Mm -hmm. Has that been also thought through uh, now that you have the information that the, that the person has compiled and where it goes to the human in the in the stream here? Yeah, I think the, another big challenge, as you know, in, in health policy and health data is that the data is very incomplete, especially in, in, in global health environments. Because we have a phone involved, we can convert this process into something that's mechanical or paper-based with these old instruments into something that's completely digital in a networked world. So you can literally see on a map, you know, red dots and green dots of where the final service is being delivered. Yes, uh, powerful. Do you have um, some thoughts on how many people this could impact? The numbers we have been hearing from, from World Health Organization as well as large uh, eyeglasses makers vary between two billion to three billion people in the world who need glasses but don't wear them. And because it's not a life-threatening condition, it often gets overlooked. But as I said, education, poverty, socioeconomic problems are closely tied to it. So potentially we could reach these two or three billion people who are underserved through a platform that they already have, which is a mobile phone. So just think about that. More than four billion people in the world right now are walking around with a scientific instrument in their pocket. And how can we convert that into a service that can improve their health and education and even financial conditions? Do you have other plans for this? Uh, I think we at the MIT Media Lab, we are working on a series of solutions that will piggyback on mass market technologies like this. Um, and we are starting with eye diagnostic because eye is a mirror of health, uh, as we know. But we are going beyond that and thinking about the skin and hair and blood and all these conditions and then taking the notion that we can provide these services for health and transform them into other services, whether they're for education and entertainment and productivity and agriculture and so on. So it's, it's really an opportunity for us at MIT to enable all these platforms and then we have collaborators worldwide in academic institutes as well as, as, as uh, uh, for-profit institutes who are working with us to 
hopefully make this dream come true. Extraordinary. Thank you so much, Professor. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Mabel Jong. Thanks for watching.